Okay, welcome. Okay, guys, we need. I'm not sure what I would have done if you had a diet. My other half. I promise to say I love you more and to only make wild and precious memories with you. I'll be here with you until the end. It is a new dawn and the sense that we are starting afresh. The first game of this brand new Premier League season and it's bound to be compelling. Hello and a warm welcome to a stadium that always oozes passion, St. James's Park. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And there are few more enjoyable days on the football calendar than opening day in the Premier League. It's Newcastle United up against Aston Villa. Well, Derek, these fans expect Champions League qualification here and they've got every reason to feel that way, I think but they'll need to get off to a winning start just to build that confidence. And here's the starting eleven for Aston Villa. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They oh, they could put it away, Stuart. Oh, so After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from his free kick. And that will be a corner. Played over, not away completely. Stopped a surefire goal. Had a play then for a Villa throw in. Can they take the lead here? But can't avail himself of the chance. Will he be disappointed with that? Maybe it's just come a bit too early for him. Well, the nerves are perhaps jangling a bit more than usual because it's his debut for the club here. Well, he's a good goal scorer, we know that, but I'm also expecting him to link up the play, break off sidelines and work hard. He's the all-round striker. Determined defending. Isaac. He needed to get there and did, but still the possibility. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Well, many have wondered if they would get it over the line in terms of the deal. They've succeeded, Stuart. Well, the reported fee of around £35 million represents a really good deal for them. He's talented, yes, but he's also a really top-class professional. And that attitude will rub off on some of those players around him, that's for sure. He's in with a chance. Wow, that is high-level goalkeeping. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. That's goalkeeping of the highest quality, I would say. Well, he'll be a bit deflated following that effort, but he was being tightly marked. <laughs> Almiron. And it's going to be a Villa throw. Look at Tinia. Longley. Bubakar Kamara. And he read it well, intercepting it. Long staff. Oh, the attack peters out, and that means it's goalkeeper's ball. Thank you. Yusufa Mukoko. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Almiron. And played in. It's still alive. Well, thank goodness for the goalkeeper. Well, they're calm now, but that initial save was absolutely magnificent.
Danger averted. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Look at Dinia. Mukoko. And the emphasis is on creativity, but really sticking to the task defensively. Oh, what an opportunity! And a really good stop. Well, that's a save of the highest quality. Great goalkeeping there. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know. And there it is! The opening goal! 1 0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Back underway, 1 0 it is. And it's with Isaac. Joe Linton. Just the challenge that was required. High pressing at its best. Douglas Luiz. Now options are plenty. Oh, big chance! Well, that's a really top-notch piece of defending. Almiron. And a good-looking ball. Oh, can you believe what we've just seen? I think we're going to be viewing that goal time and time again well just look at this magnificent agility perfect timing and great connection what a goal that is so the ball rolling again at 2-0 Jacob Ramsey Mukoko two minutes of stoppage time coming up and the referee sees that as a foul free kick given and an effective clearance Well, the first half story has been written. Half time here at St. <laughs> so, underway once more, and Newcastle very much bossing the game up to now. Will there be a response in the second 45? Good tackle. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. It's Newcastle United facing Manchester City. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to enjoy. Pau Torres. Good high press.
An attack full of promise. And veering in. A fine reading of the situation. Miguel Almiron. Now, oh, can they hit them on the counter? He's in behind. Superb chance. And off the post. Oh, it was there for him to take the chance. And the ball back with Newcastle here. Well, that was incisive. Big chance. Oh, it was there for him, but unable to find the target. Well, he certainly went for power, but the accuracy just wasn't there. He should have scored that. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Well, we're into the final half hour. And showing the importance of width. Diaby. On a poor touch, really, and unable to prevent the corner. And short it is. Really acute angle, but he kept going and trying. Well, I'm surprised he went for goal, but it almost paid off for him there. It's a good effort. Here it is now, a substitution. Bruno Guimaraes. And the Magpies failing to keep the ball. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Aston Villa facing Everton. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Sustained pressure, and they have the ball now. Really good build-up, but no end product. The Magpies looking creative. And let's give credit to the defending. And in with a real chance. And still an opportunity. Well, thank goodness for the goalkeeper. Well, they're calm now, but that initial save was absolutely magnificent. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Well, the keeper in position to prevent another goal from him. Well, he's a massive threat. That really could have been his second goal there. Playing it in. Just knocked it out of there. Fine work from Newcastle to win back possession. Joao Linton. Ten minutes left for play. Douglas Luiz. And he's through here. Still possibilities. Oh, that's a very poor effort, dearie me. Well, he's made a mess of that. That's a wasted opportunity. Joao Linton. Really getting stuck in. Well, nearing the end of the game, and Newcastle in cruise control. Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp, the movement's been bright, and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. Possession lost by Villa. And scope for Newcastle to attack out wide. Crossing possibilities. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. And nothing for the players in the middle to work with. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. And they're making a change.
And that will be that, the final whistle here. And Newcastle fans around the world will be delighted. It was a good... Just a couple of questions for you. No further questions, thanks.